Phil. All right, we're coming up on 513 here on your Tuesday morning. We have a lot of cloud cover here across the area, but nothing is overly thick here at this point. You can still maybe see some filtered uh, sunshine or a filtered sunrise there in the Quad Cities. Now, temperatures not too bad. Right now we're hanging out at 67 in Moline at 64 in Maquoketa and 67 as well as you had out the door in Galesburg. Now we have nearly calm conditions here this morning. As the day continues, though, winds should begin to pick up from the north and northeast only at about five to 10 miles per hour, uh, which is really nothing uh, that's super noteworthy. But the reason that I'm talking about it, it's going to help keep our air mass quite dry here at the surface. So as some rain looks to head into the area, it really weakens as it gets close to Highway 34. So at the moment, Doppler rate are very quiet uh, in our local area, but you look back to the south, widespread rain there along the I-70 corridor as you get down there near St. Louis. This is all traveling towards the TV6 viewing area. The thing is, it doesn't make it all the way to Interstate 80 until maybe later on this evening. In fact, exact track shows that edge from Galesburg to Kiwani and even to Princeton right into the early afternoon. Notice the back edge of the clouds is really just kind of being west of the Iowa City area. So we're socked in with cloud cover today. Comfortable humidity, 70s and 80s, and the only chance for rain uh, here in the Quad Cities doesn't arrive really until after about 3 o'clock. Notice those spotty showers do continue here off and on through about sunrise on Wednesday. And then Wednesday afternoon is kind of our next time frame for some showers and rumbles of thunder. Notice you should have more more sunshine temperatures in the 80s, but none of these storms are expected to be severe. They just pop up during the warmest time of the day. They rain themselves out. Very similar forecast plays out here on Thursday as well. Temperatures in the 60s here to kick things off. Probably a little bit of fog. Then comes that sunshine and then you get that afternoon shower rumble of thunder activity. Most of our rainfall is going to be a quarter of an inch or less, and this is not going to have an impact on any of our area rivers, which are actually cresting right now. And the crest should take about two or three days and then things begin to lower. Notice the Bellevue gauge has already crested and is now back into moderate flood stage. That's the first uh, river gauge that we've had that's showing that drop as we're going to start to see those river levels begin to go down. As far as the Quad Cities is concerned, we're cresting right now at 20.13 feet and uh, we should hopefully start to see those river levels go down here by the weekend. Still going to be cresting here along and south of Interstate 80, especially as we get into the second half of this week as you get into Burlington, of course, July 10th. That is tomorrow where we're expecting most of those crests. At the same time, you're probably going to be at that elevated river level or major flood stage at least into the weekend. Thankfully, we're not going to be producing any additional rainfall, though, through the weekend. It's going to be the warm and humid air that arrives. In fact, you hit 90 on Saturday, but check out Sunday and Monday. High temperatures in the mid 90s. And as we get later into the month of July into August, as crops begin to mature, this only adds to that more humidity in our atmosphere. So we're probably going to feel like 100 degrees, which in turn should lead to some heat advisories by early next week. Well, there's no shortage of entertainment this summer in the Quad Cities and surrounding areas, including the appearance of a 90s sitcom star. On Friday, actor and musician John Stamos will join the Beach Boys in Cedar Rapids at the McGrath Amphitheater.